So we've arrived at Kilimanjaro Airport and the team are all just loading onto the van behind me. Yeah, so we've arrived after a 10 hour flight and everyone's very excited to get to the lodge in Arusha where we're staying tonight and have a bit of a rest, much needed rest. Welcome to Tanzania. <laughs> My name is Charlie and in this video I'll be taking you on the journey to the top of the world's highest freestanding mountain, Kilimanjaro. This is one of three very special Kilimanjaro climbs taking place this year. Earth's Edge has been working in collaboration with Gals Gone Wild, an all-female-led hiking community to employ and train more local Tanzanian women to become guides and porters. Because of this project, Earth's Edge is going to have at least 15% female staff on all their climbs in 2022. This number is set to increase to 20% in 2023 and continue to improve from there. It's an absolute dream to be here taking part in this expedition. The girls have already welcomed me with open arms and now we're all very excited to meet the rest of the staff on the mountain. So we just had our expedition brief from our leader Jenny and now we're going to grab some dinner and get an early night before our first day of trekking. So we'll see you in the morning. Good morning everybody. Uh, so we've just driven over an hour from Arusha and we have arrived at Machame Gate. And behind me we, everybody is meeting the local guides that we're trekking with us and we're registering with the National Park before we begin our walk. So what is everyone doing here with the bags? Uh, that is measurement, weight and uh, each luggage should take uh, 20 kg. Okay. For the client it's 15 plus his staff 20 kg. And that's the same for the women and the men? Yes, all. Both of them is 20 kg. Okay. Earth's Edge became Ireland's first and only partner of the Kilimanjaro Porter Assistance Programme, KPA. KPAP is an American-run, Tanzanian-based NGO who are campaigning for porter welfare on Kilimanjaro. We are all so reliant on the hard work of the porters who carry loads on the mountain. Without their help, we would not be able to experience this wonderful mountain. Unfortunately, the porters have very few working rights and are often exploited. All too often, they are underpaid, poorly fed, overloaded and don't have adequate clothing for the mountain. This is where KPAP come in. KPAP sends one of their staff on each Kilimanjaro climb to independently audit how we treat our porters. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have just left Machame Gate and we are now on our way to Machame Camp, which is going to take us seven hours? Eight yeah. hours? Yeah. So, Lorini, what wildlife might we see on this walk? Okay, when we are in this route, we can see like a uh, White calabas monkey. A white calabas monkey. Yeah. Okay, amazing. Any yeah. birds? Birds, like a uh, raven. Uh-huh. Yeah, white naped raven. And okay. you can see maybe uh, a dove. A dove as well? Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, and so many. Well, let's keep our eyes peeled yeah. and see what we can see. Yeah. So we've just arrived at Machame Camp. Um, the walk through the rainforest was absolutely stunning. We had a beautiful sunset and it was absolutely gorgeous. And as we arrived at the camp, the, all the porters have already set up all the tents and it's on this beautiful little plateau looking up towards Mount Kilimanjaro. It's absolutely stunning. The porters are the nicest people. I've just been walking through the jungle with them, talking about their lives and um, talking about how much they enjoy working on the mountain. Yeah, so everybody's in their tents now, just having a wash. We just kindly got given a bowl of hot water to wash ourselves, and then we are gonna go into the mess tent to have dinner. So that's day one done. Everyone has had dinner, and it was, honestly, it was delicious. We had soup, I had two bowls, bread and butter, and then we had steak and potatoes, vegetables, salad. Yeah, what a treat. We are being treated incredibly well. Uh, I can hear people snoring. So I've got some earplugs somewhere around here. Tomorrow we're up at six. Good morning. Being woken up with 
a hot drink. <laughs> Unreal. Okay, night night. Asante sana. Good morning. Are you excited about your head? I am very excited and I am feeling very happy and full. <laughs> Yeah. 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 So we've just completed a six hour trek and we've arrived at Shira Camp and once again all the porters have set up all the tents that you can see behind me. Yeah, we're going to have some tea now and then have lunch and just relax. Good morning from Shira Camp. Today we're going to trek to the Lava Tower which is at 4,630 metres. Everyone, I'm already getting out of breath a little bit. <laughs> everyone uh, is feeling pretty good. We've had like mixed feedback on how everyone slept, but everyone's pretty pumped to get on the trail. How are you right. feeling? I'm feeling very good, very tired? good. Tired? You're looking a bit tired, Freddie. No, no, I see, I'm strong. <laughs> You're carrying all my stuff. The strongest man I know. Yeah. So we made it to Lava Tower. We're at 4,630 meters. It took us about four hours to get here from Shira Camp, which is pretty good going because it normally takes about five hours to get here. I mean, you can just about make out Lava Tower. Hopefully it will appear any minute now. But this was formed many years ago when Mount Kilimanjaro was an active volcano. Lava would have spurted up out the ground. <laughs> you can't see it, can you? It would have spurted out the ground, built up, cooled, hardened and then formed what is behind this cloud is a big rock formation and it's so impressive to see we had amazing visibility on the way up when we arrived the mess tent was set up with um, the dinner table all laid out and when they brought out a tray of chips everyone just erupted uh, <laughs> cheering because everyone was just so stoked to have a big plate of chips. So we've come up from Shira Camp from 3,840 meters to 4,630 meters and then we're going to head back down which is a three hour trek to Barranco Camp which is at 3,950 meters and that's where we're going to stay for the night and that's really good for acclimatization because it puts our bodies through the higher altitudes during the day with less oxygen in the air and then as we come back down there's more oxygen in the air so our bodies have time to recover overnight sleeping at that lower altitude. Innocent. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're going to rest up now and prepare for the climb tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. We just had an absolutely delicious breakfast and you can see it's a stunning morning. And look behind me, we are all just beginning to ascend Barranco Wall, which is considered the more difficult part of the climb up Kilimanjaro. Thanks, Marianne. So we just made it up Barranco Wall. Everyone had a really good scramble. It's tough, but all worth it. And amazing seeing the porters carrying everything, like, unbelievable. Just and yeah, everyone in our team had a good climb and I think everyone's feeling great. Really quite a strong team. Hey guys, how's everyone feeling? We're doing good, we just climbed the wall. Yeah, how was that climb? Yeah, it was loads of fun actually. Yeah? Uh, there was some sort of kissing stone, which I did not kiss. I gave it a big kiss. Did you? Yeah. I don't know if you can put hand sanitizer on those lips. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Good day. Great, great, great. We're really lucky. Feeling great. Just getting ready to the summit night. Yeah? We are very close. As you can see, it's over there. What are we going to do? So getting ready and ready. Yes, brother. Yeah. We've just arrived at Karanga Camp. Look at the mountain behind us. We're going to spend the rest of the day resting tired and sore legs and feet. Good morning. We're now walking along the ridge line to Barafu Camp where we have to register with the park rangers. And we're walking through 
this barren landscape and Nyambi and Maggi oh. are we in the desert zone now yes and we have to keep going up keep you can see up. behind me and then tomorrow or tonight even going up there you how are we doing innocent i'm doing really good yeah. yeah so far so good the weather is nice we are heading to the best camp almost there We've just reached Barafu camp at 4,000. 673 meters. What has been your favorite part of the expedition so far? I love all the singing and the dancing. Me! Come in! Come in! Come in! Come in! And my sister! So we just had a little rest and now we're headed up the steep trail up towards Kosovo camp where we'll rest up for the summit push tomorrow. Even just after a little rest though really does freshen you up. Yeah, for me, the Branco Wall was amazing. Every yeah. second of it, the rock climbing, watching the porters, what they can do, is phenomenal. Yeah, it's not just physical, you know. I mean, it's their spirit, it's their attitude for each other, but then for the team and how they're just looking at every single one of us all the time. And when there's any dip in energy, they just like open up all their spirit. It is so lifting. Belt out a tune. Yeah. We're all wiggling in our arses. <laughs> we thought we were doing, <laughs> having tough times and then we're all singing, so it's all good. Yeah, dressed to, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna be cold. Well, I say that and it's never cold. <laughs> I'm really stoked. I know there's a big push ahead of us and I have a lot of confidence in our team that like we'll get there. We have a really strong team and the spirits and the spirit amongst us, as Annie said, is gonna get us there. I just ran down the hill to get a shot of the peak in the distance and it is crazy how much the altitude affects you. I'm just so out of breath and look how slowly I'm walking. Polly, polly, slowly, slowly. So we got up at 11 p.m. last night. I didn't really get any sleep. There was a mixture of excitement and nerves amongst the group as we ascended towards Stella Point. <laughs> which is at 5,756 meters. We're nearly at the top. There's everyone behind me. And it's bringing me to tears already. It's just incredible. The singing from the guides puts you in a kind of trance and something magical happened when that sun came out. It lifted our spirits beyond belief. It was pretty tough, but we all made it to the summit. It was absolutely unreal. It was super emotional on the summit for me. Well, actually, all the girls, I think, cried. In fact, I think everyone had a cry at some point. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was absolutely amazing. Now we just finished a four hour trek down to Millennium Camp. We're gonna have some dinner soon and then just get an early night. 
which we are all really looking forward to. Hey guys, don't tell your friend that Kilimanjaro is hard. Tell them that Kilimanjaro is like a piece of cake. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good morning. So this is our last day on the mountain. We are just making our way to Mweka Gate. And today I am carrying the medical bag and we can see we have Ami with my camera and we're about half an hour away yeah. and then we're off the mountain. Hakuna <laughs> Matata. Do I have a job? Yeah, you can get. Yeah? No interview. Yes, yeah, straight. No interview. Straight. straight. Straight into Portland. Yeah. Morning everyone, after a good night's sleep and some delicious food and a bit of a party last night we are on our way to Tarangiri National Park to see some amazing animals on safari. It seems to be a territory of pythons. Oh, that's insane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to leg over. Oh. <laughs> It is mind-blowing to see these beautiful animals up so close in their natural habitat. Our journey in Tanzania has almost come to an end. This has been a trip of a lifetime thanks to the wonderful women that I travelled with, our amazing expedition leader Jenny, the legendary Dr Charlie, and all the incredible staff that looked after us on the mountain. Porters and guides were integral to the trip. We couldn't have done it without them. Their kindness and hard work was so very much appreciated, so a huge thank you to them. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog following our journey to the summit of Kilimanjaro. Comment below if you have any questions about the trek and subscribe to Earth's Edge channel for more videos like this. Most importantly of all, thank you for your kindness and for your friendship. Nasha Mizuri, Zaid Gwenu, Asante Kwakua Wakalimu, Gwenu, Nakula Fiki, Gwenu, Gwenu. As a certified B Corp, we focus on having a positive impact on both the environment and the communities we visit. We also set the highest safety standard of any expedition company in the world by having both an expedition leader and a doctor on each and every one of our trips. For more info on our sustainability policies, safety standards, and to see a range of expeditions, visit our website, earths-edge.com.